SDV Your TV One PM on Spectrum Television, ladies and gentlemen, the viewers. Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us on this edition of the One PM English Newscast on Your TV. Lone headline this afternoon: The Social Democratic Front Party (SDF) has accused President Paul Biya's regime of fighting an undeclared war against the people of the Southwest and Northwest region. This was during the National Executive Committee meeting in Bamenda. Thanks very much for joining us on this edition of the news. Uh, good afternoon once again. Like mentioned some seconds ago, the Social Democratic Front Party, SDF, has accused President Paul Bia's regime of fighting an undeclared war against the people of the Southwest and Northwest region during the National Executive Committee meeting in Bamenda, chaired by the National President of the Social Democratic Front party in Ni John Fundi, some issues were raised and some resolutions were agreed at. Details with your betting way. The Anglophone crisis, forthcoming national convention and elections were some of the major focus at the just ended SDF were some of the major focus at the just ended SDF next without pointing out to the fact that even our own national day, even our own anniversary, we didn't want to celebrate because we are not happy. Because you cannot be celebrating with tears. So uh, that, that gives us the dimension. I would take this thing very deeply. It is worthy to note that the party has set up a special commission to investigate the killings in the English-speaking regions of the country since the beginning of the crisis. This comes after criticisms by SDF of the silence by government on the Anglophone demands. Youth drawn from various professional backgrounds have been empowered on charisma and how it can enable them to become good leaders. This was during the 8th edition of the Talk Motivational Conference year in Douala. Peter Sosier has the details. Charisma has been identified as a personal and professional asset in human endeavors, one which enables a person to have vision, develop self-confidence, and influence others. On the sidelines of the 18th edition of the Tour Motivational Conference, youths from various academic and professional backgrounds in Douala have been edified on charisma and other related values, such as leadership, discipline, and production. Ekoko Mukete, one of the keynote speakers, shared experiences on the eight principles of wealth creation, calling on participants to be wary of science, whose rapid evolution compels entrepreneurs to be innovative. Technology is bringing about change. I wouldn't want to call it a threat per se. Yes, it is a threat, but it is a good threat. Because via technology, you lead to change, which is sometimes that change might not be positive. But once it's couched in a way, where it, it, it is positive, then that change is good. Odwe Shiko, another speaker, dwelt on leadership, conviction, and how one can make it out of his or her comfort zone. At the end of the three hours exchange, participants are going home empowered. Uh, I'm getting out of it very edified. Um, well, I'll, the, the team today was pretty simple. I just love the idea of you know just knowing that charisma is from God. Uh, it's not. You know, it's not about knowing what charisma is, but it's about what are we using it for? What problem can we solve? Uh, what can we do? How can we be useful? And it's very, it was very educative because it taught me things that I did not know before, such as the eight categories of world profile. It, it has helped me to be able to evaluate myself on what... Um, on the category that I fall in professionally, on what I have to ameliorate about myself. The Talk Motivational Conference is a series of seminars on personal development with the aim of enabling people discover their inner self. Over to the Southwest region, the population of Bo Barombi and its environs have been urged to protect the rich biodiversity around Lake Barombi Bo. The call was made recently during the celebration of the International Biodiversity Day. Daniela Neba, Marcelito. 
This year's International Biodiversity Day was celebrated under the theme Biodiversity and Sustainable Tourism. In the Meds Division, celebration focused on the high need of protecting the high biodiversity products around Lake Barambibo. According to the Southwest Regional Delegate of Environment and Nature Protection, Equadi Songwe said, the choice of Kumba is to educate the population on the important role of the lake. The importance of this activity, first of all, is to create awareness. We want to let people know that the biological diversity is very, is very important for our life. That's why we decided today to come here at the Lake Baromibo to showcase. You know, this league has, as I said, it, 15 species that you can find only here. Speaking at the occasion, the regional delegate of culture, Grace Ewang, called on the local population to organize more cultural activities so as to attract more tourists to the lake. She was, however, corroborated by the Southwest Regional Delegate of Tourism, Efiti Monono, who also stressed on the need to protect the lake. She said the lake is not only a touristic site of the people of Barombimbo, but the entire Southwest region. Meanwhile, the representative of the Chief of Mbo Barombi thanked the delegation for exposing the poor management of the lake. He said the population is blessed to have the lake since it is of economic benefit to them. Still in the southwest region, a seminar on uh, automatic toll gate system config configuration has uh, taken place in Boya. It will, oh, it, it will help transform toll gate billing from manual to automatic and facilitate the process. Ebune will in this complete that story. Recently, manual systems are fraught with a lot of disadvantages like heavy leakage of revenue, drudgery, time consuming and more. Hence, like the Industrial Revolution, this 21st century is now experiencing automation revolution, which is using electronic softwares and gadgets to replace manual systems. This is a case with the Cameroon Initiative, Premium Enterprise for Software Configuration of Manual System, with acronym PEFSCOM SYS, aimed at automating some and even all of Cameroon's manual systems that are presently in use today. They are taking the debut with the automation of the toll gate system on major roads in the country. If the account hasn't got enough credits to permit you to cross the toll gates, the indication is put on this, uh, the pump top that the police people who are by the toll gates to indicate that you have crossed the toll gate without paying. To the brain behind PEFSCOM. The advantage of the system, first, it gives security to the car owners. Via module automatic toll gate system will have four components involved in the configuration. These are the vehicle's registration number card crease, the vehicle's plate number, the driver's license number, and an inbuilt map of the country that will detect the specific location of the vehicle at any point in time, especially as a vehicle is crossing a toll gate. This system will use a prepaid system which is paid before use that can either be through a scratch card or through mobile money. This system will ease the arrest of a stolen vehicle and the identification of the driver of the stolen vehicle through the transport office, the vehicle user paying the toll gate charge without stress, and more. Sunday, May 28, 2017, was celebrated as a Mother's Day in Cameroon. Our reporter Veronica Aji now presents to us the origin of Mother's Day. <laughs> Female parents of a child or animal, title of a woman heading a convent, or a woman having the capacity to be a parent, whether they have a child or not. This definition simply brings forth the very existence of motherhood. <laughs> Celebrating a woman who gives birth to a child or watches over, nourishes, and protects maternally is therefore important. It all began in 1908 when Anna Jarvis held a memorial for her mother at St. Andrew's Methodist Church in West Virginia, USA. 
Anna Javis, a peace activist who cared for wounded soldiers on both sides of the American Civil War and created Mother's Day work clubs to address public health issues. In 1908, the U.S. Congress rejected a proposal to make Mother's Day an official holiday, but later observed it by 1911 in remembrance to Anna Javis herself. After the fight, Mother's Day became an important date in the Gregorian calendar. America, Canada, Australia, Brazil, South Africa and other countries, the second Sunday in May was set aside to honor motherhood. In most Arab countries, it is celebrated on March 21. Meanwhile, in Cameroon, Sweden and other countries, it is the last Sunday of May. In the Roman Catholic Church, the holiday is strongly associated with revering the Virgin Mary. Je ne suis jamais parti. Je n'ai jamais changé. Si ce n'est ma voix. Mother's Day has different appellations as well. Mata Titha Aunshi, or Mother Pilgrimage Fortnight in Hindu tradition, More Der Dak in Dutch, Fête de Mer in French, and El Dia de la Madre Bolivinia in Spanish. <laughs> Be it French, English, German, or Italian, all that matters in the end is that one woman is someday called Mama. Mama. And that report uh, written to us by Veronica Aji takes us to the end of this edition of the 1 p.m. English newscast on STV. Join, uh, join Orian Donke at exactly 7 p.m. for the news in the French language and Henry Wana at 8 p.m. for the news in English. Good afternoon and thanks very much for watching. TV, your TV.